Hey, what's up guys? Finally, we're here this Sunday. I'm gonna make a video. I've been slacking a bit. Um, last Sunday, I didn't make a video either. So I was like, fuck it. Like, I, just, I gotta get at least you know something out today. Uh, especially now that I got a new setup, I'm actually more motivated to work. Um, let me show you guys, you know, real quick how this thing works. It's pretty fucking dope. All right, so the chair is, I don't know. It's like a gaming slash office chair. There's not much to say about it, but um, you know, it has like all the functions. You can lean back and all that stuff. Um, you guys know that my chair has been for like literally the longest time that foldable chair with a pillow on it. I got this from like Salvation Army or something like that for five bucks secondhand in like 2014. So it was time to change that thing. And then for the table, I got a um, standing desk. And I got a you know Windows thing to go with it, so I can have some of the tools that you know only do Windows for SEO. But this one is automatically goes. Check this fucking shit out. Yes, I did the buttons upside down. I fucked that shit up. Pretty dope. It's right next to my bed, so I can like literally roll out and um get to work here so kind of excited to see how this works um haven't been really able to test it out yet because it's, it's it was a really bad idea to buy a ps4 um i got that thing and literally it's been taking a lot of my time man um i finished crash it's a game i used to play as a childhood um well, well when i was in my childhood one of the first games i ever played and not only i finished all three in the last couple of weeks but now i'm trying to finish the whole game but getting all the boxes and all the gems which is a completely different level of difficulty than just finishing the levels right so hopefully i can get that by february uh because if i start selling and that thing is not done it's gonna be a, a huge problem like it's a, literally gonna be a threat to my business this year so my whole thing is i i finish that game fully and then i pack the ps4 away and then i'll be done with it right but the problem is i have to finish the whole thing and get all the gems for me able to do that so that's where i'm at <laughs> anyways guys all right let's get the thing out of hand so um let's look at the notes i was just taking a few notes on um you know my framework of one of the questions so this is what you guys asked how you price and package your services so what i'm going to be going through is try to catch up in this video as much as i can um this is probably going to be one of those videos that's going to be kind of all over the place because it's just so much information that I went through uh, and then and, and to to cut it close to cut to answer this to answer this question very short I can just answer that my core product is maps and that's all I sell and here is um here is the exact pitch I give to people when I'm selling them right so I'm going to be showing you guys the exact like steps like literally I pitched a roofer not too long ago using this framework and this is the plan they got right they didn't buy and so um yeah so basically you know I'm, I'm I don't mind like sharing this exact thing um and it's pretty much the framework that I use for every single person that I pitch so that's an easy way for me to you know provide a lot of value is just showing what I exactly do and um let's get into it oh fuck all right, so first of all, I'm gonna to try to do this under five minutes and um, let's see if I can get this under five minutes. Basically, what I was selling in the beginning and why it was hard for me, and then like how I changed things, you know, as far as I can remember, the main changes that I made, and then how is it I make the frame now. And the only reason I'm showing this kind of brainstorm is because I know not a lot of not everybody is gonna who's watching is doing like you know like maps for local services right you're doing different stuff maybe you're doing you know e-commerce you I don't know so this is gonna just at least let you know where my mind is coming from when I package these things so um uh, you can at least know like you know what you, like why I believe it works you know why it works and why I believe it works okay okay so number one what is your core product now, I only have five minutes, so I don't want to get into too much in the whole like going in the jungle and you know spend time in a cave and find out your spirit animal of what should be your core product you will you know give to the world. Gotta keep this very straight to the point, right? In my definition, the core product is basically what is it that delivers the results, right? In the past, especially like last year, my core product 
uh, and then the beginning stage was was or, like just SEO, right? Like the organic listings, right? So what I failed to realize in the beginning is that I'm I'm selling something that doesn't actually bring results. That I mean, that doesn't actually bring the most results. Let's put it like that, because I don't want to get into controversial arguments with people here. Like, although well, organic does work and stuff like that. If you're a local business, you know, in, in my experience in home services, if you're a plumber or whatever, um, and then you're trying to get them to bring more business, if you're ranking them just organic listings under the maps, you're not gonna get that much trap that much traction. Yes, if you outrank everybody in number one, let's say like for a roofer, right? And you beat Home Advisor in Yelp and for a big market, you know, like decent sized cities, you beat Home Advisor in your number one in, in, in for the majority of the terms. And let's say you have schema and everything like that. Yes, you can get some traffic from that, obviously, right? You're number one in a big market. But the resources you're gonna need to do that, as opposed to what it would take for you to get in the maps in the three pack and do a good review generation for them so they can generate the calls is far less, right? Max just says like it's far, far less, right? So that's why maps is my core core product, right? And like I said, this entire part could end right there. That is the answer to this. What am I selling is Google Maps. Okay. But let's get into how um, you know what are the what are the main things that 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 how this came into play, right? Because like I just mentioned, in the beginning it wasn't like that. And I was trying to sell something that even if I was to be able to successfully get them there, they wouldn't get much results, right? Like I was trying to sell just organic. I wasn't even doing maps. I was I didn't know maps in the beginning, right? So then I start once I started doing maps, I'm like, oh shit, maps actually works. It actually brings calls. Okay, then I started doing maps. Then as I tried to increase my prices, I was left with a dilemma, like what else should I offer? Like, I, I wanna charge a thousand, I mean, this is the question I was asking myself, which was inaccurate in, in, in the whole idea anyways, now that I look back into it. But I thought like, you can't just sell maps for a thousand dollars. In reality, you can. But the forgetting the price uh, as a question, the thing is, as you raise your price, you're gonna le be left with the thing like, what else are you offering? Right, because if I talk to the roofer and I, I said like, yeah, this is what we rank maps. The conversation would be very short, and I'm not sure if I could have enough time to relate to them my value. Right, so naturally you want to put some other stuff together in your package that shows that you provide a lot of value. Right, and this comes the critical mistake that a lot of people make, and I made it very in a hardcore way. Right, what we do is we try to put other shit in the package that in of itself are either core products or complete different services that have nothing to do with the core product, right? An example would be Facebook ads. If you're just selling Google Maps, right? Like, you know, like you're a beginner and you're like, okay, you're an SEO, you have a basic understanding, you wanna get better at SEO and you're gonna rank local businesses, right? And let's say you got good at, you're decent at ranking maps, right? Let's say you, you know, pick a good niche, whatever, and you can, you, you're, you're decent at ranking maps and you can get results, okay? The next thing, and you're trying to see how to like, let's say you're charging like, you know, 750, 1,000, I mean, or let's say that you're charging 500 to $750, right? You're a very beginner, you're undercharging yourself, and now you're gonna start charging $1,200, $1,500, right? The first thing should not be, I wouldn't recommend just jumping into Facebook ads or something so different. Right, because it's Facebook ads. It's couple steps away from getting them the results in Google Maps. Right, it's actually quite a few steps away. Right, the the branding, whatever you're gonna do, whatever your way of running Facebook ads are, is, is not directly attached to the maps. What I would recommend is getting better. You know, like putting down one of the main things that you have to get better in to deliver this result, and then this is the smart way to do it is to package those things in a way so it can also sell better. So let me explain that again, right? Because this can be really, like, like I, I, I know people fuck up in this because I fucked up in this for a long time. Once you understand that you should not make the mistake of going for another core product, because that, that, that comes as its own systems, its own level of skill that you need, its own, um, you know, mastery and everything like that. What I would recommend is, for example, like this. What are the main components that have to that I have to achieve to get a good result in the core product? You know, proper on page, proper maps optimization, right? Like actual be behind the maps listing itself, what you know, pictures, whatever you do, right? Like maps optimization and then links, right? Some of the stuff I'm gonna say is controversial. I hear a lot of rumors going around right now, like, oh, you don't need links anymore to rank, whatever. Point is, 
this is what it is. It's a good framework, right? It's things that you need to do to get better results. Okay. So then you can ask yourself, what are you doing that's different than other companies or, or seemingly? What is it that you are looking to get better in right now? Maybe taking a course on, you know, on page that's like very systematic, very mathematical. You know, there's certain things you take into account. Maybe you do a super competitive analysis and, and, and that's your edge, right? That's, that's what you're going for. Maps optimization, what are you doing different, right? The point here is not to get into, oh, Google drive stats and try to explain to your target market, you know, some com complicated thing. The whole idea is to bring it to layman's terms so it goes hand in hand here. The whole point of this being done properly is you're able to basically talk about selling the same product, the core product here, and sell them on multiple things, right? That you're doing for them, showing them all the stuff you're gonna be doing because you are have to, you are you are actually doing them, but then being able to put it together in a package that sells better. If you're following me here, right? Where am I? 10 minutes. Probably spend two more minutes here, right? If you guys don't get it after this, then just leave a comment and I'll try to explain in the comments, right? Um, because I probably should have taken a bit more notes before starting making the video because <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm doing a good job at explaining this. I have to do on-page map optimization and links to get this product. Now, once I know what I have to do and what I'm aiming to get better at in my systems and everything like that, now I can start selling people in those exact things in layman's terms. And I'm not gonna get into exact examples of how to do this, maybe in a later video when I go through, um, you know, how do I pitch people, but just think about it, right? Like we're talking about some basic way to explain to them how on-page works, okay? These are the things that signals to Google um, what your website is about. Based on these keywords that you're targeting, this is one of the main parts that Google looks at to see what you are about and what you say you are about, right? That's on your website. Layman's terms, maps optimization. Maps is about geographic. It says instead of going, um, you know, what, what's going to be the links that are sent to your business and what you put on the website itself, this is your geographic relevancy. Um, if you tried recently, whenever you were going for a restaurant and ice cream near me or something like that, you'd see that they'll show you the businesses that are near you, right? So we want to have a good level of authority, not to show only Google that we are an authoritative business, but also we are a good business near the, ser uh, near the searcher. Very layman's terms to explain these things, right? That's not actually not the important part of how you explain this, right? I mean, it is important in the sales side of, of keeping it simple, but the main part is the things that you're selling them is the thing that you're doing, right? We can, it's very easy to make a mistake that, oh, this is what I'm going to show them that I'm doing because it sounds good. And then what you're doing in the back end is something completely different. It's unnecessary, right? It's going it's, to, it's more likely for that to bite you in the ass because in later on, if you're to report to them what's going on and what the activities you've been doing and stuff like that, let's say you're going with the activity-based reporting, you're going to be in a position where you're going to have to, you know, like make up bullshit reports, right? Whereas if you, if they're sold on the things that you're actually doing, then they're sold on the things you're actually doing. Then you can just show them what the hell you've actually been doing for the last month, for the last three months. You get it? Right. It seems so um, common uh, knowledge once, once, once you're all, already there, but um, I, I made a lot of mistakes in this part. I'm running out of charge here. All right, guys. So I'll leave it at that. Basically, this is the framework, right? Literally just map out what you plan to do for to rank the site or, or you know get the get the main core result and then just package it and, and, and write out some layman's terms way of how to explain this to your target market. And boom, that's the framework of your package. Okay. The rest of this stuff is just for how do I say it? It's, it's, it's once you only once you mastered this or you got to a point where you generally feel that you're in the, in the top, whatever, like 10% or whatever you like, like you fucking good at getting results. Like most of your clients in with this, whatever you're doing here is getting good results. Only then I would go into these kind of stuff. And honestly, I'm not even there yet. To be fully honest, I'm not even there here yet. Like for example, Facebook ads, right? I've been saying for a long time, like, oh, I'm going to get into Facebook ads and everything like that. Well, guess what? I still didn't get into it. I still don't know how to run a proper Facebook ads campaign, guys. Like, I still didn't spend my time and master that because I'm, things are changing here. And if my core product is at risk of, you know, Google making changes and all this shit or whatever, or, or I still feel, don't feel, I still feel that there's a lot of improvements I can make in my core product, then I'm not going to jump into an entire different service just yet. But that being said, I will mention a, a way to look at these kind of other stuff so you can 
um, you know, potentially get results before you have to take the time to learn a whole different skill, right? Because a lot of this, if you look at it from my point of view, is by the, the velocity of the sales, right? Like what year are you in business, right? This is going to be my second year properly in business. And I'm, I'm, this is where I'm at, right? I didn't have that much time to spend a lot of time to master Facebook ads for roofers and stuff like that, right? I still have a pretty long list of things to do, right? Um, uh, in terms of actually building out systems, right? To make it more concise, to make it flow better. So much things that are ahead of me before I get into Facebook ads or, or you know, something of that nature or a complete different service that I don't even have the like reason for me to put it up in priority. So when is it okay? And this is where I'm gonna get into it. Other value added things that go well with your product, okay? This is, I would say, if this done well can be much more superior than other services a lot of times. So for example, what is another added value for the maps that is that 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 can put a lot of value to their business and will make a big difference in results and make it easier to sell and all kinds of things, right? The one of the best ones is reviews. If you can set a way for your target market, like you know, if you're selling Google Maps, right? And once people see you in the maps, they care about the number of reviews you have, right? If you have put together a little product, whatever it is, right? Maybe one of those products that are coming out every day with the um what you want to call it, sends out email and text, you know, that kind of stuff. Or if you want to uh, have a way where you teach them how to ask for reviews, basically the simple thing is to take something very important and package it in a way to them so it, it, it sounds very valuable. It kind of sounds messed up, but it's not. Like it sounds like, you know, I'm being like a, like a, like a super sales guy, but the whole idea here is, is to do just that. Many businesses still don't take reviews seriously. And it's hurting them so much, right? Like a lot of these businesses, they once you reach a decent level of visibility and rankings, if you just skyrocket your reviews, you triple the results, double the results. But they're not doing that because they're not asking for that shit. So it's almost our responsibility to make this shit sound like the core value products like this, like let's say reviews, make this shit sound way bigger than it is. I'll say like, look, we have a script for your receptionist, script for your salesman. We have a tool that's gonna reach out to them because we need to get reviews. If we, without reviews, with re rankings, it's gonna be an uphill battle, right? Really taking the time and putting extra em emphasis for my target market in this, in this, pro in this like, you know, value add-on, I can't, I can't emphasize enough, right? So this is one of the best products to add. If that makes sense, right? Why why reviews would be such a good value add-on with this whole thing to go together? Um, let's see another one. I mean, let me just actually to look at the plan. We're gonna get into the plan anyway soon. Like, look, reviews I put right under Google Maps SEO, right? And I package it together. Um, brand recognition. You know, I I I basically this is basically like you know cleanup. Like that other platforms, their citations are concise and stuff like that. So make sure that they are you know showing up for their main brand search and stuff like that. I mean, most people are okay with that, but a lot of people when you search their brand, they might have reputation management problems and stuff like that. So I make sure that you know we we put importance in this. You realize that a lot of the stuff I do is just like kind of not too complicated. It's pretty basic. Like if they search up their brand name and they are not they don't have good reviews and they're not showing up with other platforms that have a lot of reviews, they're gonna lose out on calls. So I'm, I sell them hard on main things we're gonna do because that, that's pretty easy shit to fix, right? Like citation cleanup, I mean, if you're doing it yourself, it's obviously a pain in the ass, but generally from a technical standpoint, that's a pretty easy thing to do. You can just get packages for it, but it's so important. Imagine if I also just rank their website with their bad reviews and try to get, get calls for them. Yes, I could be doing a phenomenal job on SEO, but they're not going to be converting, right? So I make sure to include these things right in there because it's that important, right? And once they're sold on this, then I do do my job because I have to to get them the results. It's it's like as if I'm selling them the main core product and then I'm doing all this shit that they feel the value for, and then I have to do those anyways to you know um, uh, get the result from the core product anyway. So. That's, that's the whole idea, right? Going, going back to that. What are we at? 20 minutes. All right. So I give you a huge example for here. This could be all kinds of things from, you know, from, from the market. I've seen this for people, for dentists have plugins, like, like they, they, um, what is it? Dentist or a bathroom remodeling company? This company was selling like a WordPress plugin. That's only for like remodeling 
companies, right? The homeowners can go and put their like house square foot and stuff like that and get a quote out of it. And it's only for their clients, right? It's, it's a really good idea. I don't know how good the plugin actually was, but the idea was, hey, that's a thing that they can that they can use that in a foot in the door, all kinds of shit to go with their package. And it provides value to the homeowners. I mean, I guess when homeowners go to the website, it'd be cool if they could see how much, you know, what things, how much it's gonna cost them and stuff like that, and what the end product is gonna look like, whatever it is. The point is, it could be very different here. You would likely to do some research in your industry, especially if you're doing something, um, you know, like where, 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 where it's a high ticket, you wanna make sure that, you know, what is out there that you can easily package. This is like one of the easiest shit to package, right? Like a review platform, like a review tool to go, go along with your um, entire, you know, um, package to, to add value, right? One of the most simple ones, one of the most probably used ones, right? Um, but it can go as far into creating development of like, you know, um, 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 tools and stuff like that, that cater to your target market specifically. And I, I wouldn't recommend that until you have a bunch of clients to talk about that at least. So, um, you know, once you are a bit more serious into the proof of concept and all that. So that's, that's, that's an idea about later. And last thing I'm going to say before I get into actual, um, the step-by-step -step is, other sub supporting services that complement results. And since I talked about Facebook already, I'll just mention it. So just think about it. It's pretty simple. What is a way that I can um, package Facebook ads with my core product very simply without like me getting into too much into the whole idea of running Facebook ads or trying to sell them on Facebook ads? And what that would be, the first thing that would be is remarketing. While Facebook ads itself to convert and branding out stuff like that, I might have to take some time and you know create a whole system around that to you know deliver that service you know properly. When it comes to retargeting, it might not be that complicated. I mean, it's not that complicated, right? They have traffic coming to the website. We install a pixel and remarketing statistically is one of the most um, return on investment from any kind of marketing there is. So we're just collecting from the SEO. The, the traffic they're getting. And then later on, we can run an ad to the same people who didn't convert on the website, right? Very simple. For me to put that together, it wouldn't even cost much. In fact, for me to even have that open to be a core product, all I would really have to do is put it in a, put it as a checklist that when I onboard the clients, make sure that everybody gets their own, uh, gets, gets a pixel installed on the website. Like make it like part of the preliminary steps, right? Like they're getting their on-page and stuff like that. Install the pixel, okay? Make sure I own the ad account. Boom, done. Let's say I don't do shit after that. Let's say I, that's all I did. I did. I'm not even running ads. It still is a very powerful thing I'm building up in the back because soon, one time in the future, when they have accumulated a good amount of traffic that's coming to the websites and they need an extra push, I can just start running those ads. They'll be super cheap and I'm targeting very qualified people, right? So that's an example of how you can start tapping into other services without getting too much into it, especially if you're not mastered this yet, like, you know, your core product yet. I would recommend you can tap into other little services and get the 80-20 of it and take advantage of it, whatever it is. I'm just using Facebook ads as an example. If it was email marketing, Actually, I haven't really thought about email marketing, but let's see. If I was okay, if I was to do email marketing for roofers, what I would I do? Okay, maybe just have some have them for like you know select clients put together a guide on how to you know for the homeowners itself to inspect their roofs or something like that. Something that the homeowners could get value from, and then they would get like a three-step email right every month or you know once a week or something like that. Uh, for a couple of weeks, and then the last one would be an invitation to come to you know check out maybe a, like a, like a very good um, video review of that uh, roofing business on their website. Something very simple, right? And then from there on, they would get you know pixeled anyway, and we can follow them on Facebook. The point is, th you can go completely into this, but I wouldn't recommend until you master or close to you know feeling like you're fucking good at your core product i wouldn't get too much into this shit right because it's only going to deviate your attention and there's just that many, there's only so much time you have like that's really like what it comes down to guys like i don't have time to learn facebook ads right now right right now um i gotta get all the gems in the boxes right so <laughs> but the point is um you see what i'm talking about all right 25 minutes <sighs> let's get into 
how this package goes. Okay. I want to just read it out and then see what jumps at my head so I can see where to explain. So I let them know this is another like kind of not just tip but overall way of moving in the business is the things you're doing, what you're actually doing, a lot of times feel free to share that with your clients because I feel like a lot of people overthink on how to communicate with clients and stuff like that. Whereas where, like, like for example, before I had like 32 steps of what I offered to the people, right? I wrote a huge list, right? Once the first time I did this, it was like a huge fucking list. Like this is all we offer you. It wasn't much different than the fucking, like, like Indian companies are emailing them all day. Oh, we're going to do this, 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 that. I just made an elaborated, more techy, nerdy list on those. And I was just like trying to feed them that. Not a good idea. So I summarized the main components that I go through when I'm you know, talking to them. And I let them know I summarized it. A lot of times this is like one of the simplest things you can do, where it's basically what is it that you did, you know, to what you think will be better, the sales side or the, you know, the results side, and then let them know what you're doing in layman's terms. So I'll explain on page very briefly. I mean, I just showed you guys, like that's very close to what I tell them with on pages. Like I, I spent like literally like 10 seconds, okay? 10, 20 seconds on on page and I move on, okay? Google Maps SEO, I maybe uh, explain a bit more like, hey, we don't just do the uh, basics, but we also do you know, things like this. And I just try to like, see what how much they know, right? Sometimes they think, they, 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 they would ask about, oh, we got like, you know, yes and stuff like that. And that's, a, that's an indication for me to elaborate a bit more or go, go a bit further into what to explain. Very simple though. This is probably where I put a lot of emphasis on because this is actually something that I need them to be a part of, right? So I can really nail it of why reviews is important. And obviously the better they are at this, it makes my job easier at generating more calls. So definitely push that hard on them. Um, brand ending and validation, I touched on that. You can see links. I let them know like why links is one of the most powerful things that, that we do for our uh, for our clients and then you know how we get them niche relevant high quality links whatever you're doing right if you're not doing links you don't have to even put it here um and then i go into like the press releases right like like um explain to them how locally they're going to get a press release which is a good way to show them some value early on as well um to to show them that they're in the google news right google news tab uh when when, when you search for the main term and then i get into a bit about reporting you know how how we're gonna use Google Analytics, Google My Business, um, um, the dashboard insights. I show them like Surfbox, which is what I use. Um, any of the pro rank tracker, whatever, they're all you know pretty much the same stuff. Um, I let them know that you know currently they're not getting traffic in SEMrush, and in the in the future is something that we would like to see um, you know increase in traffic and whatever. And then um, I have a few like you know message flow that just let them know like hey we're not a huge agency. What you're paying for with us is basically um, we're a hands-on company that's actually actively trying to get better results. Like we have at all times, we're trying to, um, I mean, I am at all times trying to get better in SEO, right? Other companies are not like that. A lot, a lot of other companies that they come across are not like that. They have a product that, you know, is, is packaged and sits very comfortable where it is. They're not trying to improve it and they have a huge massive sales team that pushes that shit out and they make fucking, they make a killing. But it's not a lot of times the best, best way for the, um, for the, for the, for the, you know, people they're serving. So a few quick um, Q and A. I let them know that we don't own your website or anything like that. Very upfront. Um, this is actually something that I, you know, recommend you guys. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. I personally don't do this, right? I don't hold them hostage or anything like that at all. I let them know I don't hold hostage. Again, I don't hold them hostage. So I let them know I don't hold them hostage. Pretty simple, right? Um, whatever the thing that I can think of that sets me apart, potentially a little bit at least, or or maybe a bad experience they had, I let them know upfront that we are not that, right? Very simple. And then um, and then there's the pricing. This is literally what I go through when I'm pricing my packages. And um, yeah, I don't think there's not much more to it. I mean, uh, when I make the video about the, what you want to call it? I don't even mean, long proposal. What do you want to call that? I just call it long proposal, right? Long proposal. When I'm sending it, like, you know, I'm actually taking them through the call or um, what I say when I'm, uh, the video I make when I send it out to them because they're interested. I send them the video out and everything like that. Um, it's like the last step before they close. This is part of it. This is like, you know, the second half. The first half is like basically summarizing the video on it. So I'll get into that in another video. But the point is, guys, this is how I package my prices overall. Very simple, overall, 
Um, I think this is where it's the most important, not here. I know you guys, like, this is just easy for me to show you guys, you know, what I would do exactly. And I know you guys are going to, this is the part where a lot of people are going to pause and see exactly, oh, what is it we're offering? This is the most important part, right? It's, it's not to get lost in trying to do too much at once. What the fuck? Um, I was, I was getting my moment right there, but it, it, it ruined it. Um, did delete some? I swear I had more content, right? What the fuck? Okay. Um, this is more important because it's not to get lost in selling or doing too much and thinking you have to do all these services to try to like, you know, bring them results, choosing something that's core, that's going to bring services, and then being able to be very clear what you have to do in your own business behind the scenes to get that, those results. And then knowing a easy layman terms way to explain those things to your target market. And then you have a package. Now you literally have a thing that you're actually going to be doing behind the scenes. And now that they're sold on each part of it and they see so much value from it, and it's going to make your life easier to not just report and all kinds of stuff. And it's basically, it's, it's just, it's just truthful, right? Like it's, it's exactly what you're actually doing. And then if you have time and you are, you know, you got it good at that, you can put little things, get into 80, 20, into other services. So you can reap the 80, 20 benefits. And then maybe later on, you can actually offer it as a full service, right? Like you would think that the people that I'm offering $3,000 to compared to thousand, I should have like two other whole service. Like I should be doing email marketing and stuff like that. No. It's pretty much the same stuff. Pretty much the same stuff. The guys who got a thousand, they're lucky. I pitched them before, you know, earlier in the process. That's all, right? And um, the guys that I'm getting on now, they're getting the same package, same thing, right? And and that's it, guys. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.